Good afternoon. This is DJ Johnny at JDM FM, and today I'm at Windmill Lane. Huh? What's all this about? Well, I'm actually at Penketh and Sankey, continuing my little videos of the area. Let's go and investigate all about the windmill. So I'm here on the junction between Meeting Lane, which is down there, and Stocks Lane, which is which is all the way down there. This is Stocks Lane, and actually the bridge at the moment is being uh, refurbished. They're building a new bridge, uh, a new railway bridge. So it's uh, hindered me a little bit today, but never mind. This is where the windmill used to be. The windmill was behind me in the cottages, uh, just uh, just there. You can see the cottages just over there. Uh, so just behind me are the old mill cottages. Mill cottages one and two, and three and four are further down the road up there. Now it's these two cottages at the back of these cottages where I believe there was a huge mill. But it's all gone now. I wonder what this windmill used to look like. And this is what it used to look like. It was enormous. So big, I can't even get it on my screen. Deary me. We will see the other pictures in a few minutes. Deary me. This mill was probably, uh, I don't know, when you look at it, you look at that uh, the small mill cottage at the bottom there, and uh, you look at the, the overall height, including the sails, it was probably five double-decker buses, if not more. Probably about 70 foot. Jeepers, so high. It must have dominated the whole area of Penketh. Of course, the area then was covered in fields with grain and crops, which all came to this windmill to be ground down for, for flour, etc. It must have been a huge concern. The whole village must have been involved in it. There's even four mill houses. Uh, one, uh, mill house one, two, three, and four. This will be uh, the cottages one and two, uh, where the mill actually is, and the others are just up the road a little bit. Deary. The funny thing is that this mill never originated here. It came from Gattaca, near Liverpool originally, and they transported it in the, I don't know, probably early 1700s, to Penketh, piece by piece, and rebuilt it here. And this was here, late 1700s, uh, and was used till much, till probably the 1840s, if not uh, a, bit, a bit later. It really was an amazing concern, and a fantastic place. And the people who used to work, used to own it, were called the bakers, they were the millers. Imagine you're making bread and the like, and not maybe where the, where the name even came from. Fabulous. Absolutely unbelievable. So I'm here at the Mill Cottages. These are beautiful little cottages that were built in 1798, long time ago. And I suspect from that, that the, that was the date around the mill because these must be the places where the mill workers used to live. And the mill must be around that sort of age. So that's pretty old, a pretty old place. And I've got to say thank you to Joanne for telling me all about it and, and uh, we can go through the deeds as well. So thank you. And this square stone is one of the stones from the windmill itself. So that is the reason why Windmill Lane is called Windmill Lane. Although this is a fairly new estate, uh, or newer, certainly a lot newer than the, uh, than the windmill was, uh, that's where the name comes from, from that beautiful, huge, ancient windmill. I hope you enjoyed my little story of this around the Penketh area. This is DJ Johnny at JDM FM, and whatever you're doing, hope you have a fabulous time. I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.